Okay, on this page, you would put in that login that I had talked about. So you'll either, either receive it um, via email from our IT department, or you can get it from the My Web CT announcement section. And if they're a distance student, they would have the Web CT site? Yes. And so they would, yeah. they would get it from the announcement section. And if you have any problems, though, please contact the library. Sure. Great. So a little bit of a, an overview about this screen. Um, the first screen that you get on is the refined search. And you can see that you can limit your results to just what's available at the mount. I, I warn people about this. Because we're part of the NovaNet Consortium, it means that we can actually get things that are at St. Mary's or at Dal or at Cape Breton University. So if you just limit it to the mount, you might miss results that are available to you, just not at the mount. Right. So uh, you can use this, but sort of. Uh, okay. So if you leave them unchecked, checked, then you have access to everyone. Every, everyone. Okay. Oh, well, not, uh, well you everyone get who has access, access to this. <laughs> and what you have access, what you retrieve is articles from numerous sources. Some articles may not be available within the NovaNet system. Okay. Um, these article databases are provided by companies who read all the different uh, journals. And then with each journal, they actually assign subjects to them so that they can be more easily searched. But they're just doing it on subject topics. Right. They're not doing it because they're owned by a particular university. Okay. So what you're searching here is uh, tons of information whether we own the item or not is the question. It really doesn't much matter, it, does it? Well, if you want to access the full text, then it, it, it matters. So ah. um, if you click these buttons, you get the full text that we own. Okay. But you miss out on the full text that Dalhousie or right. St. Mary's or St. But you can access, you can still access the full text? text yes, so okay. you can request um, items from St. Mary's okay. and St. Mary's. If FX, it's a book. If it's, it's a book. Or you can, if it's a general article, you can request that they photocopy it for you. Okay. That's so if it's not already online. Exactly. If it's not already online. Okay. And if we don't own it at right. the mount. I understand. So if, if it's owned by one of the other universities, they will, they will get a copy of it for you. I understand. Uh, so there you probably have to be careful of time. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Because if your paper is due next week, it's no time to start ordering in books to come in from another uh, university. university. Or okay. journal articles to be right. photocopied for right. you from another university. Right. So yes, always give yourself lots of time before uh, you, know, you write your paper. Mm. Give yourself a good two weeks for the research process. Okay, so we had talked um, in a, that uh, little part that we were going to look at um, health. Right. And we're going to take a look at um, uh, smoking ah, with the right. the asterisk uh, with the asterisk, and um, then we were going women? to look at. Oh, I think we or were going women? to look at because the ah, question was about pregnancy right. yes. specifically. Which would and again so that we can get both pregnant and pregnancy. Right. Uh, and again, uh, I'm I do this the first time just to take a, an opening gambit at, at what is there. Right. If I don't get the results, I use other words. I would right. use you know, either nicotine, which was another word mm -hmm. we came in, or I would use women. If they just wasn't right. up on pregnancy, I might right. take a look at, at the wider topic of women. So there's no hard and fast, OK, I only have one shot at this. I've got to get the words right. right. You kind of have to be a little playful with it. Right. You know, you want to you know, you brainstorm. You come up mm -hmm. with some ideas about different words. You type them in, see what you get. If they, you don't get quite what you want, try some other words. Just Are you limited to three, or is there another option then to put in the if you want to put all of them in? I, I'll show you that in a second, okay, but let's just sure. start with the, the three. Because, okay. I mean, one of the things you have to be careful with is making it too complicated. Right. And narrowing down your, your search, and then you get nothing, or you just right. get a one or two because you made it too specific. Right. So I would say when you're starting, make it a little bit wider. Right. And then if you get too much, then you can always narrow it down by, by adding more, okay. more topics. OK, so we can um, hit search on this. OK. You notice I haven't done anything with these no. fields. So, and I'll that keeps it simple, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, 
get to these uh, eventually. Okay. Um, what it does when you just search this way, it's searching in the title, the author, the abstract. So it's looking in a lot of different places for these words. And you can see that we got over 1,300 results. Ooh, lots. Yeah, so we got so much that maybe we could make it a bit tighter. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this so we're just looking in the subject. Okay. And basically with the subject, as I mentioned, the, the company that provides this for us, they hire people to actually read these articles and assign key terms to right. them based on the essence of the article. So even if uh, pregnancy or health isn't in the title, right. but is in the, you know, the essence of right. what it's about, okay. they assign the subject to um, okay. health. That's so a that's great a job. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so by choosing subject terms, of course, you're narrowing your search quite right. a bit, but you're kind of getting at what's important okay. about these articles. So you can see, oh, I just uh -huh. got to hit the search, to make the search button again. We're down ah. to 162. Out of 1,300. Yeah, out of 1,300. That's, that's a lot of work saved. Yeah. Okay. The next thing to, to narrow this down, of course, we're, we're really interested in the academic work. Right. Um, again, this is a large database. They also do newspapers and magazines. So up at the top, there's this little link called Academic Journals. When I click on that, it only gives me the academic results. Excellent. And you can see that uh, we're down to 138. Okay. So now um, you might say, okay, I want to narrow this down even further. Let's say mm. I'm just interested in Canada. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're out of little um, rows to, yes, to, to add up. things in. So what we have, the next tab is called Search History. Right. So if I click on that, one, it shows me what I've done so far, so mm -hmm. I can track and see, okay, what I've searched. And I can also, if I, I'll just clear this up at the top. I can add my, my last search. Oh. So rather than health and smoking and pregnancy, it just puts in S2. <laughs> and that covers yes, all of that. that. I and then okay. I can type in Canada, or I can do can add to get at Canadian right. as well. As, I see. Uh, and then we can switch. And we're down to six. <laughs> oh, much better. <laughs> or maybe too narrow. Or too but narrow. We'll but see. it depends. It depends right. on how many articles you're looking for. And right. And if you do want, want it to be to Canadian. Canadian. Oh, only no. You, yeah. So you might want some Canadian content. Right. So you narrow it that down just to find the Canadian content. And then you mm. might make it larger again to get some of the American yes. and British and other okay. countries. But it is good to note that a lot of these databases, because they're US based, they do have a lot of US content. So if you're interested in Canadian content, you should, should search on, on right. Canada. That will be very helpful. Yeah. Great, so here, let's take a look now. You know, you're, you're interested in, in, in this article. So you can click on it. And here, it gives you the abstract. So you can read it and see if it's relevant to your topic. Is this something that you want to, to pursue? So that gives you a little bit of extra information. The other thing that's really interesting here is that they give you all the subject terms. They give you some more, so yeah. it might cover areas you hadn't thought of. Exactly. And right. here, we can see one of the terms is obstetrics, which when we were talking about pregnancy and we didn't come up with that term while we were brainstorming. Yeah. So now we know that um, this is another term that this database uses in, in the, the indexing of, of articles. So I, I find that it's extremely useful to look in this section, especially if once you read the abstract, you think, oh my God, this is the best article ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, to sort of find more like it, mm -hmm. take a look and, at, at this list and see what's relevant to your topic, because it's going to help you find more articles. And you just want to copy them, and then once you go back to the result list, you can, um, you can change your search terms up here right. to accordingly. Uh, accordingly.